Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. Woo! It's new guitar day for me, man. It's out for delivery. It's on the truck. <laughs> Said deliver by eight. Someone better be home to sign for this thing, man, or I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> new guitar day is the best. Love new guitar days. Speaking of guitar days, today's Flat Top Friday. Mm -hmm. You guys are gonna like this. Never done one of these before on Guitar of the Day. Never actually had one of these before in stock during my eight year tenure here at Norman's Rare Guitars. These are super rare. They're crazy rad. Every single English rock star you can name had one of these things. So dope. You guys are gonna dig this. Why don't you guys come on back, check this out. All right, this guy is from 1968. This is an original. Zemitis 12 string. Wow. Look at the size of that guy. Can't even fit in my frame. That's a custom built case for it too, because that won't fit in a regular dreadnought case either. Let's talk uh, some Zemitis guitars, man, because we've never done one. So let's talk. Zemitis guitars were built by one guy named Tony Zemitis, who's a uh, Lithuanian immigrant, I believe. Grew up in London. Um, kind of around the, you know, wartime, but uh, started building guitars in the late 50s. He was, a, he was an apprentice at a cabinet making shop, I think. So he, he had gotten his woodworking chops together. And they said he found an old guitar in his parents' attic that needed some repair. He knew how to do woodworking, so he started to do some stuff and kind of grew fond of it, had a love for it, decided to start experimenting with building his own guitars. And what he was really experimenting with was doing some different things that had never been done before. And he would kind of build guitars throughout um, the majority of the uh, early part of the 60s and all that kind of stuff, um, which started to get, you know, some local popularity. But it's really in the 1970s um, when he blows up. So the first Zemitis thing that really blows up is the metal top electric guitars, which... He had been building electric guitars. He decided to start experimenting with putting that metal top on the entire top of the guitar to help shield it to get down noise. Now, he made two of these. The first one, the prototype, I forget who got it. The second one he built for Ronnie Wood, uh, who was at the time in the Faces. Ronnie Wood then played it in 1971 when the Faces were on top of the Pops, which was a huge show, and then everybody was like, what is this? metal top guitar. Started to get a lot of interest. Also around that time, he brought in an engraver who was a famous gun engraver, uh, the last name O'Brien, this guy, and he started having him etch all these intricate patterns into the top of these metal top guitars. Um, and then he also started doing some other cool stuff with inlaying pearl. He started doing the mosaic top guitars with the little squares of pearl and abalone that went over the whole top. The things cost a fortune. All these English rock stars just were all over this stuff. Um, and he also built some really fantastic acoustic guitars, most of which were 12 strings. Um, let's go over some of the guys who had Zemitis guitars. We've got Jimi Hendrix, George Harrison, Keith Richards, Ronnie Wood, Ronnie Lane, Gary Granger, uh, Mark Bolan, basically all of the elite top shelf echelon English rock stars all had Tony build him stuff. And Tony's goal was to never make two guitars the same. Every guitar had its own fingerprint on it. No two were alike. He did a lot of experimenting with different shaped sound holes. You'll see some of his acoustics have like heart shaped sound holes on them. Um, he did some experimenting with different materials and stuff. Um, this one is on a little bit more of the planer side. This is a, a Sitka top, mahogany back and sides, mahogany neck with what looks like uh, probably a piece of rosewood kind of going down the middle of it. Might even be walnut. Uh, Brazilian rosewood on the fingerboard bridge and the headstock overlay. Um, also, for a lot of these 12-string guys, the number one complaint I hear from people on 12-strings is that it's so cramped in the first position. How do you make an A chord? Do you look at the nut width on this guitar? Mm. This is like two and a quarter, I think, inches wide. It's a little over two inches wide. Massive. Look at the string spacing. You got plenty of real estate, man. No one's going to be saying that they can't uh, fret an A chord on this thing. Um, but these are very, very cool. Um, 
Zemitis kept building guitars. Like I said, he wanted everything to be custom and he wanted them to be top of the line. So he, he committed to never really making more than maybe 10 guitars a year. And that includes acoustics and electrics. So these are very, very rare. They are highly prized uh, by collectors in the market and most all of them end up in Rockstar's hands for whatever. I, I'm trying to think some other guys I left off that list. Like Clapton had a 12. George Harrison had a very famous 12. Um, I think Bowie might have had one too. Um, like I said, all the English guys around the London scene knew Tony Zemitis, and he made him something cool. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this. It's the first one of these I've had or had a chance to play. Um, what do you say we get out to the couch, bang on this guy a little bit, see what kind of sounds it makes. All right, we're out front. We have 1968 Zemitis 12 string acoustic guitar here. We're going to put it through the paces a little bit. This capo's hanging on for dear life, man. <laughs> it's a wide nut, but I think we're gonna get through one tune here. Let's see what it sounds like capoed up. Let's get that capo off of here. Let's see this thing in all of its glory. Bang on it real hard here. sounds like uh, on the camera there but this thing's like a freaking piano man in a cathedral with really high ceilings <laughs> rad this thing's from 1968 hand built by tony zemitis in london england this is a spruce top uh, mahogany back and sides rosewood board and bridge brazilian rosewood overlay on the headstock one of the coolest rarest and most collectible uh builders of all times they only made about 10 a year uh some were electric some were acoustics all the English rock stars had one of these. You could have one too. Give me a call if you want it. Till that, follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. 
One more, Jen. We, I know. I think I got one more in me for the week. We'll see you guys back here tomorrow for one final episode <laughs> of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.